Have you ever wanted to become tomorrow's expert in Arctic geosciences? The Arctic Geology Department at the University Center in Longyearbyen, Svalbard, is the place for you to start your adventure. Here at UNIS, we offer full semester bachelor courses as well as intensive courses at master and PhD level. These courses focus on a variety of topics within geoscience, where amongst others you can study glaciology, permafrost, quaternary geology, sedimentology and structural geology. Besides the teaching component, all courses include field and laboratory work. Field activities often take place in remote areas throughout Svalbard. Through UNIS, you will have the opportunity to study geoscience, visit stunning and unusual locations where you may encounter some of Svalbard's unique wildlife. Accessing Svalbard's outcrops in summer is uh, usually an adventure in itself. We normally depart Longyear Bien by sea using ribs uh, called Polar Circles to access our outcrops. And more recently, we've started using sailboat for more extended field campaigns, whilst larger courses or expeditions can use uh, bigger research vessels. Depending on the stratigraphy that you are working on, uh, accessing an outcrop can be anything from a five meter walk across a beach to a 10 kilometer hike through varied and challenging terrain that sometimes may even require a river crossing. Once at the outcrop, as geologists we engage in a wide range of activities. For many it's contemporary geological observations, such as taking structural measurements or recovering sedimentological data, uh, taking samples or just doing basic mapping studies. In addition, many parts of Svalbard's stratigraphy is quite rich with marine and terrestrial fossils so there are good opportunities to find some really beautiful specimens. More recently, we have focused on outcrop digitalization, where we've been able to collect 3D models uh, from mountain scale right down to cliff sections using drone photogrammetry. In addition, we also conduct more advanced types of field work and have begun integrating geophysical methods such as ground penetrating radar or electrical resistivity tomography to collect data that can be integrated with our drone photogrammetry models and more classic geological observations.